Ladies and gentlemen, I had a great question um, from a student, and they asked, you know, when we were looking at you, when we have I in the bottom, we cannot, we need to simplify this. We need to get the I off the bottom, okay? Well, so the first thing we need to do, whenever you have an I, we always remember, we always include, we have to get this conjugate off there. And it doesn't matter if you use the negative I or I, you're going to get the exact same answer. However, we have to get I off the bottom. And the one thing that we understood is, remember the imaginary unit equals, represents the square root of negative 1. So I, I squared equals negative 1. Right? Now something we went over when we talked about complex numbers. So therefore, I need to get i off the bottom. So what I'll do is I'll multiply by i over i. Now, I'll kind of go through the major mistakes that students did. The first one, students forgot that this expression is together. So when you multiply 6 minus 5i times i, you have to apply distributive property. I'm still there's still a lot of mistakes going on. So therefore, I have 6i minus 5i squared over i squared. All right? Then we rewrite those, the i squareds, as negative 1. So we have 6i minus 5 times negative 1 over negative 1. All right? Now, when you guys take a look at this, um, you have 5 times negative 1, so that becomes a positive, right? So I'd have 6i plus 5 divided by negative 1. Therefore, I have six, negative 6i six minus 5. That was the final solution for many, many students. However, if we don't make this final correction, we will continue to have the problem wrong because what we talked about also is all complex numbers we want to write in the form of a plus bi. And I know I presented to you, and I know I talked about it multiple times. Yes? Okay, I, got, I did it a different way, but I got the same answer. But what if you do it by, like, when you, the first part when you have it by negative i? It, it's not going to change it. Yeah. So don't do it that way? It doesn't matter. But, but I'll leave the same answer. Mm -hmm. All right. So you have to write it in negative in this format. So therefore, my final answer should be negative 5 minus 6i. All right? That's how you should have got the M um, for that problem. Make sense?